Hello everyone, this is Sheikh Samna Taj. Now I am going to give you a brief summary on CCPI, which is known as Climate Change Performance Index in 2023. This book was published by CAN Climate Action Network, German Watch and Climate New Climate. State of Climate In COVID-19 recovery, we have largely missed the opportunities of climate progress. And now we are at crossroad right now and fossil fuel productions. Fossil fuels are at, account at 75% of the GHG gases. In 2021, the countries are accessed in the CCPI and accounted with 92% of the GHG emissions. To keep 1.5 degrees Celsius within reach and to prevent the climate change, the countries have to take their emissions by 2030 about CCPA. It is a methodological approach and data resources. Actually, CCPA acts as the country's performance by using four categories. First one is GHG emissions, 40% of overall score. Second one is renewable energy. It will take 20% of overall score. Now going to the third one is energy use. It will take 20% of overall use. Now going to the fourth one, Climate policy, it will take 20% of the overall score. Overall results of CCPI in 2023. The top three seats are remain vacant because no country is performing that much better. So the countries need to implement their performance. Key results. No country is not that much good in index categories to achieve an overall rating. Now going to the G20 performance. India scores the India is in the eighth position. United Kingdom is with eleventh position, and Germany is with sixteenth position. These are the three G20 countries which performing the which is performing higher in CCPI 2023. Canada, Russia, South Korea, and Saudi Arabia are the worst performing countries in CCPI 2023. EU performance. Overall, the EU rises to 3 spots than the previous year to 19. It barely misses the high classification. 2.1 category results in CCPI 2023. It is also known as GHG emissions. CCPI countries must have their emissions by 2030 to prevent the dangerous climate change. Now coming to the key results. Chile and Sweden are the two countries which are having their highest rating in this category. Coming to the G20 performance, there are the three, country, three countries, United Kingdom, India and Germany are the top rating in this category. Coming to the EU performance, as in the previous year, the EU rates medium in this year and it's also dropped from 1 rank to 24. 2.2 category results which is also known as renewable energy renewable energy growth continues coming to the key results for the second year running norway receives a very high rating in this category uh, algeria iran and russia are at the bottom now coming to the g20 performance brazil turkey and china are at the top they are receiving these three g20 countries receiving the top rating in this category eu performance the eu performance is has uh, there is no improvement and has compared to the last year it rates medium 2.3 category results which is also known as energy usage energy demands retrieves a pre pandemic levels coming to the key results no country receives a very high but finland kazakhstan and Canada are the three countries which are receiving a very high rating in this category. G20 performance of the G20 of the G20 countries, seven countries receives a very low in this category. Coming to the EU performance, as compared to the last year, EU performing has the medium. 2.4 category results, which is also known as climate policy. Countries must have their climate targets. Coming to the key result, there are the four countries which are receiving the high rating for the overall performance. G20 performance, the EU is the only G20 country which is receiving a high rating in this category. 
EU performance. The Netherlands is the only other the EU countries receiving a very high rating. Thank you. This is the overall summary of CCPI, which is known as Climate Change Performance Index in 2023. Thank you for watching.